Hey friends, we are going to revise abducens and trisaminal nerve that are the uh, cranial nerve 5 and cranial nerve 6. Okay, so let's get started. Abducen nerve, it is the sixth cranial nerve. Purely motor supplies only one muscle that is the lateral rectus of the eyeball and you can learn it by the mnemonic of LR6. Lateral rectus supplied by abducens that is the sixth nerve. So named because it abducts the eye. Lateral rectus, abducen nerve, abducens nerve. Unique features. Most susceptible to damage of all cranial nerve due during increased intracranial pressure. Functional component and nuclei. General somatic efferent supplies lateral rectus muscle arises from abducent nucleus in pons. General somatic Afferent fiber carries proprioceptive sensation from lateral rectus, terminates in mesencephalic nucleus of trigeminal nerve. As we know that general somatic efferent G S E columns are 3, 4, 6, 12. Okay, and general somatic afferent are 5, 7, 9. 5, 7, 9, and 10. Eyeball. Lateral rectus. Superior orbital fissure. Internal carotid artery. Cavernous sinus. Upper border of the petrous temporal bone. And this is the inside content of the cavernous sinus. As you know that internal carotid artery internal carotid artery and the obtusent nerve passes through the cavernous sinus plus sixth nerve okay upper border of petrous temporal bone abducent nerve anterior inferior cerebellar cerebellar artery facial nerve motor nucleus of facial nerve abducent nucleus pons and facial colliculus course arises at the lower border of pons opposite the pyramid of medulla runs dorsal to anterior cerebellar artery darlos canal cavernous sinus enters the ob orbit through superior orbital fissure runs lateral side to inter orbital surface of lateral rectus muscle listen Lesions of the abducent nerve. The abducent nerve is generally damaged during increased intracranial pressure. During increased intracranial pressure, the nerve is stretched due to the descent of brainstem. Consequently, the nerve is cut by the sharp bony edge of the petrous temporal bone. The paralysis of the lateral rectus muscle following the injury to the abducent nerve leads to Convergent squint due to unopposed action of medial rectus, inability to abduct the eye and diplopia, double vision with maximum separation of two images while looking towards the paralyzed site. Now we will revise the fifth cranial nerve that is our trigeminal nerve. It has three divisions, ophthalmic, maxillary and mandibular denoted by V1, V2 and V3. Trigeminal nerve, it is the fifth cranial nerve, mixed nerve both motor and sensory, motor root and sensory root, facial nerve, corda tympani, consists of three large nerves, ophthalmic, maxillary and mandibular. Unique features, it is the largest cranial nerve. What? It is the largest cranial nerve. Sensory ganglion of trigeminal nerve is located within cranial cavity, largest in body. Functional column and nuclei, special visceral efferent fibers, SVE. So as we know that SVE contains 5, 7, 9, 10, 11. SVE, 5, 7, 9, 10, 11 and this is called nucleus ambiguous. Supply muscle derived from first pharyngeal arch muscles of mastication, mylohyoid, anterior belly of digastric, tensor tympani and tensor tympani and tensor palatini. 